How cool was it? Not cool. No, I, like, I didn't know what to think about that one because it's something we don't, we usually not do, like the shutter run plus wall ball. But, like, I don't know, I give my maximum, so I'm happy with uh, what I did. Recover from the for the shoulders of yesterday. Like I have a bad shoulder endurance, so it was a bit difficult on the wall ball for me. But like the shutter run, uh, very okay it's for me was the rest. It, it was my strategy because I know that uh, rock climb and wall ball could be difficult for me. So I paced a lot on the shutter run. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. How are you feeling? It's a mixed emotions. Gabby beat me, but I couldn't go faster, so you never want to take the. Any thoughts? <sighs> How did you feel? I don't know. Obviously, I only know Gabby's time. Yeah. And this wasn't very good compared to that. But then again, she's really good at this rope climb stuff. When did you try to focus on repetitions non-stop? Uh, yeah, like just keep moving here. Yeah. Because after the wall balls, it's really hard to start running, but it gets better. So you just have to like keep on running in the first laps, you know, because it does get a little bit better. Um, but yeah, we could have, I think both of us could have done a little bit better, to be honest. Yeah, but it is what it is. We'll just smash it tomorrow then. So event five on Sunday is underway. The athletes are getting already at it. We've seen some of them already go. How's the vibe with the group? How are they getting along? And so, you know, sometimes you can't ask for anything better going into the final day. We obviously have uh, Gabby's leading. We have Jacqueline sitting in third. We also have Solver going into the top 10. Christoph's within the top 60. And then we also have Anais here who's fringe pushing to, to break into that top 60 today. And um, and event five, you know, it's a fun one. It's it's in essence like, are you willing to to send it? Can you maintain the last ten snatches? Hello. Because of the the after was very high, but the tricky part this year. Any thoughts going into the final workout? Is um, this like the hardest skill that you have to develop? As a coach, patience. This is uh, virtue. <laughs> but no, yeah, being able to measure ropes, measure lines, reread 300 times the rules, rules, drink coffee, so much caffeine. Then maybe more coffee. As a judge, what do you think is the hardest thing? I think the small standards can change everything and in the end when someone is playing to qualify there's some small details they change each year uh, other than that like the athletes move well and I make sure that one stupid mistake or like it's better to be strict that you don't counter rep because you are our friends than be a bit strict say go for one more rep because it will be less penalty that CrossFit can can put to a person after so it's better to fight during the workouts and be friends afterwards and uh, yeah, not yeah, risk yeah. penalties between the workout is normal that the people hate me but after <laughs> we are all friends in the end so. that's what he thinks <laughs> watch your back industry, someone is you know? coming so how's your plan to not leaderboard been going so far <laughs> i haven't actually gone on the leaderboard myself but uh just people tag you and stuff, so then you see it anyway. And then you know people can't not tell you. Future, you future notice. Don't tag Jacqueline in the leaderboard. Nah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. But it's it's just like the leaderboard does matter. But then it, you know it, 
it's more like the feeling after the workout and like knowing that I did my best. Mm. And e if I know that I did my best, or or even if I know that I didn't do my best, I'm not like the the leaderboard is not going to change how I feel mm -hmm. as such. So yeah. But last last one, I was going to say last one, best one, but um, I don't think that's a, <laughs> I don't think that's the case. Uh, but if you just, just have to send it to them. Do you really. prefer these like kind of send it workouts, or are you more of a long grind? I'd like a send it workout with some gymnastics. Yeah, those the, we've seen. You love those. Yeah, ones. those those are good. So if I have if I have a bit of like body weight in there, uh, but I think that this would be this is quite like s simple, but then also like the the snatches are gonna feel very heavy at then, uh, mm -hmm. even though it's like just 60 kilos. Uh, if you go, you know, like ball to the wall, you might get a nice surprise. Uh, but okay. be a fun one. Thank you. Did you look at the leaderboard last night? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't not. Do you try not to, but then are tempted and you do? It or depends on how I did in the workouts, or how I think I did. And I thought I did okay in these ones, so I had to... Are you happy with uh, your, your placing? Yeah, I'm quite happy. And this one should be a good one, so I'm hoping that I at least stay in the top 10. Should be like a really good finish for the weekend, actually. Were you frustrated yesterday with the last one? Like, do you think you should have done more? I think it's like a tricky workout a little bit. I think if I would do it again, I would know a little bit more how to approach it. But last night it was just like, yeah, we didn't really know like how hard to go. We had like heard things about the like running and stuff like that. Like it's pure fitness and um, so yeah, I think I think we went out a little bit too conservative, you know. But it turned out to be like okay, and it's an okay score. Are you feeling your legs today? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling, yeah. The pistols are still getting me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, like right now? You right before that, about the warm up. Ah, uh, like what just happened? I, I could go now. I finally, I'm finally warmed up to hit the workout. So, should we do that again? Do you feel like Josie has been like your shadow during this weekend? Oh, totally. Like I don't feel uncomfortable next to him at all. And especially having his camera like <laughs> this close to your face. <laughs> no, awesome. <laughs> what was the worst part? Worst part were probably well, the last two snatches and probably like the last perfect box snippet when you know you have to like send it on the snatches after you're quite quite toast. Well, how was like ripping off the barbell from the floor on the first rep? 
Like, did it feel better or worse than you thought it was gonna be? I had mentally prepared myself that I was yeah. almost gonna fail that rep, so so I did better than that because I just really like, you know, you yeah. need to put all the fucking power you have into this rep. So, so you go into every workout thinking the worst thing will happen, and then the if it's turns in area. But it's always like that. You've done like you you, you know your heart rate is very high, and then if you if you approach that bar like you would have approached it like being 60 kilos when you're not under fatigue you get a bit of a shock <laughs> so i'm just like you know just all you have <laughs> so i think my first rep wasn't actually too bad because no. i did like four calories for burpee box jump overs one snatch before and i almost failed a snatch so i like okay you need to you need to be a bit okay, more aggressive shit. than that <laughs> Happy it's over? Yeah. <laughs> it's always happy when it's over, no? Yeah, probably, yes. Yeah. Um, any major takeaways from the weekend? You never, you never done learning. You can never improve, you can always improve. Thing. That's a life lesson. Yeah, you just, it's, you just keep learning, no? Okay. Never. Okay, are you, are you hyped for the next training block? It can I be like you know mixed feelings, a bit scared, because <laughs> it's gonna be uh, no you just knowing what you have to go through. It's gonna be it's gonna be like very intense and it's gonna be hard. Uh, but I'm also excited to you know push push further, make sure that I'm even you know even in better shape for semis. I think last year I my shape I was really good in really good shape for quarters and semis, and then kind of um, fell off a bit at the back end of the season. So we're kind of trying to make sure that like peaking a bit later this year. Mm -hmm. um, Okay. But yeah, it's gonna be. I'm excited to get it going, um, going again. It's gonna be fun, fun when but it's hard. <laughs> you need to just like embrace the suffering, yeah. and if you know, and we're all athletes and we want to improve, and we kind of like. I think if you, if you, obviously if you're a CrossFit athlete, there is kind of a part of you that enjoy that, uh, that dark place as well. But then also it is very, um, it's very hard to be in that place. Yeah. So it's yeah, like I said, it's mixed feelings. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also, I think very, that, that not sure about this. the prize for best facial expressions this weekend goes to you, Sola, because... Honestly, I don't even realize that I'm doing it. And then I see videos and I'm like... Yeah, I wasn't paying attention, on? but now when I record, I just look at you and you're always like... <laughs> yeah, to stop this. Yeah. No, I think... Um, I would say the biggest advantage of, of being in a group is that you, you know kind of the level. Uh, so it's easy to see like you know because obviously when you're training alone it's always like you know am I in shape where am I compared to to others and that obviously at the end of the day you're you are competing with yourself but then you know you're gonna you know at some point you're gonna go at the stage being next to other people so I think being a group together and being more people we kind of know you know a bit better where you're at so if someone's strength is kind of like shooting up and you're like hanging behind um, and stuff like that it's easy to make adjustments in the training um, and tweaks before it's too late if that makes sense because uh, obviously training alone you don't really know where you're at compared to others and then you might have taken big steps in your conditioning but then all of a sudden your strength gains is back so i think it's it's easier to kind of keep that balance going when you're being a group yeah, I just like training <laughs> with so much well. It's better than training alone. <laughs> it, it, feels, about it, that much. it feels less worse when you're looking at the clock and you know you have to be in pain and you're not by yourself. Or is it that just me? Yeah, I guess. And it's just like, you don't always feel like doing like second session, third day in a row, but <laughs> everyone else is doing it and it's just like, you don't really... There's no time for slack, you know. I think this this can be a bit of like a blessing and a curse because I think if you if the group is disciplined uh, and there's not like complaining within the group, I think you can then you can kind of raise the level. Mm -hmm. But I think if you get into like a bit of like a um, complaining um, community or not, not that it can but be like, contagious. Yeah, then 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 it can actually drag you even further down. You know, if yeah. someone starts like, oh my, I'm so tired, and then the other one, oh yeah, I'm so tired as well. I'm actually well tired. Yeah. <laughs> and it, I feel like now it's allowed to say that you're tired. Uh, but I think, but then obviously, like, you can also rise uh, rise the level of each other. But I do agree with what you say as well. I'm a bit tired now, Alex. I can't really phrase my... Uh, I think you guys did great. And Thank now you. it's time... Well, not now, but some t for pizza or something. Yeah, so. yeah something good. I was supposed to arrange that, but I should not have taken, uh, taken responsibility of arranging that. Never plan. take more responsibility than you need to. No, <laughs> That's what I, I learned. I not arranged anything. Okay.
the product placement. Um, okay, so how do you feel now that quarterfinals is over? Um, I always feel the same after like any kind of competition or event, like, just because like you are preparing for something and it just feels like it's going so long and you're stressing about every event and stuff, but when it's done, it's just like, what now? <laughs> what, what just happened? What are we gonna do now? No, but we have the plan now, like, I'm gonna rest for a few days, see my family, and then we are coming back to full training mode, and I really cannot wait to finally start live competition. Do you feel like uh, this year is the year you're gonna like, do you feel like you need to prove yourself? Now that you had this really great off season and you're going into the year with some like podium placements, mm. or are you not trying to think about it? And so I just mentioned it. I'm trying to not think about it and not put this uh, pressure. Pressure, but I don't think I have a problem with that. Like I don't really, maybe it's not. I, I don't care at all. But uh, I. I think what just changed in um, uh, in me during this uh, last season was I started to believe in myself and that I just belong here and I have full right to accomplish something amazing and this is what I'm gonna uh, aim for this season. So I just don't have to prove anything to anyone. I belong here and I, I've been here for a long time so I'm just gonna finish on top. So today to celebrate being done with this weekend? Yeah, I'm not how, celebrating just yet. Yeah, yeah. How, how did you feel overall when you finished the last workout? Like beyond the workout itself? Yeah, I. it's a feeling of knowing that you've done everything. And I can't ask for mine. I truly did everything I could this weekend. Uh, not just me, but everyone around me. So, uh, Everything was as ideal as possible, leading up, execution, and um, the atmosphere overall. So, uh, with that, I'm very happy. I feel very uh, at peace with the weekend, and then we'll see what the what the end result is. You know, I don't like to speculate, so we just see at 9 p.m. And... So it's Monday. We finished the quarterfinals yesterday. Got the results last night, and obviously they were great results for all of the athletes. We have Gabby winning Europe, Jacqueline also standing on the podium, Solveig in top 10. I believe we have seven total program athletes within qualifying in Europe and some other athletes dotted through other regions as well. Alongside that, Christoph also made his long-term dream of qualifying for what was regionals, now semis, which he's been uh, pushing for for seven years. And so that's an extremely big moment and um, something that I'm very proud to be a part of, that he trusted me with that part of this journey and um, to help achieve it. Is there any extra strategy that we are gonna get or we are going in the same way? Um, so, so the girls, uh, the peak will be larger for semis, meaning that um, they're going slightly more rested than they were for quarters. Uh, but our training, in essence, won't change. The girls have added in a lot of stuff that we don't typically do. We're swimming a lot at the moment, we're running a lot at the moment, um, in the hope that we make it through semis towards the game, so that's a bit of a risk. Uh, Christos' chain training might change in the sense that we sacrificed a bit of strength in order to uh, be better at the gymnastic movements. So maybe we start to incorporate a bit more of the strength work so it can build back up to those um, bigger numbers. Okay, quarterfinals has finished. Anything you wanted to say to the audience? Now we uh, are of ending. Of course, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, um, we really appreciate your support. You know, the comments, your guys even watching the videos is really helpful to us. and. And one of our big focuses is building community in Europe. So, you know, obviously we have athletes from all over Europe and hopefully you guys watching um, get to know a little bit about us a bit more. So thank you for your support. If you want more, subscribe, like the video and, uh, and comment below.